right, this is the Marlowe Tilt. This is a really unique way of controlling a card. It looks like you're just taking their card and sticking it in the middle of the deck, but what's actually happening is you create this depth illusion, and that card is actually being placed second from the top. Okay, so uh, here's how it works. Let's, uh, you have that selected card or whatever the card you're trying to control. As you're uh, grabbing it back from them or as you're showing it to them, here's what you do. You push over the top card of the deck, you pull back, you're just getting a little pinky break above that, uh, or below that top card I should say. Okay, but now you're going to modify the break a little bit. This is what the normal break would look like. You're going to go from here to here. Okay, so the break is actually, uh, or the card is separated from the deck on both sides of the pack. Okay, so how I do that here is this is what the normal break is like. All I'm doing is I'm kind of just releasing my grip of the deck, kind of at the heel of my thumb, and that card is going to pop up a little bit. Okay, just, just play around with that a little bit. Boom, boom, from there to there. And basically the bigger this break is, the, um, the more separation, the more gap there is, the more depth you're creating. So uh, let, me, let me try that with my right hand just to see, or just so that you can see what that would look like without practice. So you get your pinky break, and then you go from here to here. Okay, now when, you, when you're holding this gap, I guess we call it a gap instead of a break at this point, um, there's a few things that you want to make sure you do. Uh, you want to make sure that the left edge of this card is completely uh, covered by your thumb, by like the heel of your thumb. You don't, what you don't want is something like this. Okay, because then your angles are really bad. People are going to see the separation. But if you keep it aligned with the heel of your thumb, now your angles are good. Some people still might see it from this angle, right? So what I do there is I kind of just tilt my hand a little bit to the right. So for, instead of doing it like this, I do a little bit like this. So the angles on this are actually very good, okay? At this point, you're going to take their card, and what I do is I pretend to struggle just a little bit, you know, trying to find the right spot to put it in. But eventually, I just stick it right underneath the top card. And now, from the back, this looks pretty uh, obvious. But from the front, this actually creates a really good illusion that that card is going dead center. Okay? You saw it in the demo video. You can go back and check it out again. Um, but here's a few extra subtleties that you can add to this to make the illusion even better. Okay, so I already uh, talked about tilting the hand a little bit like this. Another thing you can do is... Instead of sliding it straight in, if you add a little bit of a bend to the card, so instead of this, you do this, that enhances the illusion even more. Try it out for yourself in front of a mirror. You just bend it, it makes it look like the card is going even deeper in the deck. Okay, and then you're just going to very slowly push it all the way in. Once it's in, you collapse the gap, and I'll usually just do like a little dribble to reinforce the illusion that it's in the middle of the pack. And that's it. At this point, their card, or the card that you're trying to control, is now a second from the top. This move is very commonly used in the context of an ambitious card routine, uh, because it's just, it's just the perfect way to get it uh, in position for a double lift. So that's the tilt. You can, uh, you can use it as a standalone card control, or you can use it in the context of a larger routine. Uh, but it's a, it's a really cool move, very clean, very... Um, very direct, okay? There's no shuffling, no cutting. You just place the card in the middle of the deck and you have control over it the whole time, okay? So that's the tilt. Hope you guys like that and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.